Hi there, Rob Green here from FSW UK and in this video um, I'm going to show you how easy it is to test your vacuum pump um, before you actually put it onto the plant to carry out the evacuation okay and what you need to be able to do this quite quickly and effectively is one of these little micron gauge adapters that you normally use on your core tool to attach your um, digital vacuum gauge if you're using a core removal tool okay so these are brilliant for actually testing your vacuum pump okay so I've already fitted it one here to my Testo um, digital tour gauge um, and all you have to do is attach the other end of this to the quarter port on the vacuum pump okay so here we go we're going to tighten this up and before I switch it on the test works as simple as this. The to know if the vacuum pump is working correctly, it needs to get below 200 microns in less than one minute, okay? So we're gonna switch this 4CFM Navtech cordless vacuum pump on. She's a little slow starting initially until she ramps up the speed on the inverter, but even this, it will come down well inside a minute. I'm not gonna time it because it's that quick. Watch this now. So we start it up. Okay, you can barely just hear her ramping up. Watch the dial. She's already dropped now down below 147, 129. She's seconds. The vacuum pump is, isn't even up to speed fully yet. You can just hear her starting to ramp up and she's pulled this down well below uh, 200 microns in an instant. Okay. We'll let her go till she comes up to full speed. There we go. A couple of seconds and you can see how low she's going below 30. Um, microns. So we know the pump is good, okay? That's the good part. We just shut her off. What do you do if the pump isn't working, okay? If you're not getting below um, 200 microns or it's incredibly slow to get down there using one of these adapters, okay? Well, all you can do is run the pump for 10 minutes to get the oil nice and warm, okay? And then drain the pump uh, of its oil, okay? Put fresh oil in and repeat the test again. Now, if the if it's really if the water is really contaminated, um, you might have to do it three or four times, and even then you won't get it out of there. Sometimes you literally have to take the oil housing out of the pump um, and literally dry it all manually inside and do a full strip down. Most engineers don't do that. You can send it back to us or to the to the manufacturer, and we can get this, the vac pump service. It's a rare occurrence, but most people never do this simple test to find out if your vac pump is actually working. Now, if you're going to put this on a big piece of refrigeration plant, on a VRV or VRF, it's nice to know it's working before you fit it, okay? Simple little test, and all you need is a micron gauge adapter available from any one of our 24 branches around the UK or from uh, our website at fsw.uk.com, okay? Thanks for watching. See you all again soon. Bye now.